Organizing Maniacs, and today I'm going to be talking about coat closets, some quick and easy fixes for a troublesome area in your house. You can find this video and other information about us at organizingmaniacs.com or at Organize Maniacs on Twitter or Organizing Maniacs on Facebook. So you can see here we have a typical coat closet and some of the issues that people tend to encounter with the coat closet is too many coats taking up all of this space, leaving not enough room for all of our daily gadgets, our yoga mats, our scarves, our puppy stuff. Right, April? She's my helper today. And some of the other issues that we come into is that it becomes then a catch-all. Without a good organizing system, if they don't have a home, they tend to live on the floor, underneath other things, or kind of jammed in the back. Let's see, if we take out some of this stuff, I have a feeling we're going to encounter even more. Yep, you can see we got some stuff in the back. Some toys that have ended up in there. A yoga mat. What else do we have in here? Toys. Some scarves and hats. So the problem with this area is that it's a great area, really convenient by the front door, but because we don't have it set up nice and, and easy to get to, it's going to be hard for you to find that yoga mat to get to the gym or that airsoft gun to play with your kids. So today we're going to talk about some solutions for how you can transform it into something that's practical. And good. The first thing that you want to do is have a good plan, and my plan has three parts to it. The first part is to remove everything from the closet. So you might need to create a space on your counter or on the walkway here where you just want to pull everything out. And as you do the first part, you can also talk about the second part, which is purging. And the easiest way to go about purging is to, once you have everything out, group things with uh, categories. Put your like items with their friends. So if we have yoga mats here, we can also put our workout shoes with them. We can create a pile of scarves and as you do that you'll start to see that you have maybe 25 scarves but it's just you and your husband so perhaps five would do or 18 would do and you can create a pile of stuff to donate to charity or to purge all together so after you've removed everything and sorted it you're going to purge it and then step three which is the fun part you can organize it All right, well, just about an hour has gone by and we are back to our closet project. And I will open it up for the big unveil. You can see now my closet is very nice, very organized. Everything is easy to get to. It's not falling around. So I'll talk about some of the solutions that, that we used on this closet. And the first one is to get some good sturdy hangers. Sturdy hangers can be purchased pretty much anywhere. Ikea has some good ones, Target, any place like that. And you want to keep your bulky items on those hangers so that they don't fall. When you grab this coat, this one's not coming off. And we also utilize that space for our bulky scarves. And this was a really neat idea that we found on Pinterest, a way to hang your scarves so that you can grab just one at a time without the others falling off. And they're also contained, which is nice. And for our mishmash of items that was on the floor, we spent time categorizing it, sorting it, purging it, so we we're going to keep it together in those categories that we created. So you can see here we have our hats. Very easy to get down. Grab which hat you want, put it back up. Reusable bags, good for the environment, now good for us because you can grab this whole bin, chuck it in the trunk of your car, and you're good to go for the grocery store. And down here, we've used this plastic bin that rolls out if we need to, but it also scoops in there nice and tight. It's a better use of that floor space because before we were wasting all of the space from here to here. And now you can see we have some more of our winter wear in these bottom two. And we have some doggy bags for the walks. And our last idea is here on the door, which is a huge time and space saver. So you can see at the top is kind of our mishmash items that we ended up with our toys and our ponchos. Our dog, big member of the family, you can see she got two rows for her stuff. Easy to grab, easy to put back in. Plastic keeps it nice and clean. And then the daily gloves and hats that you want to grab right before you run out the door. 
So it's all nice and tight. We can close it on up and feel really good about our hours worked.